for your time and good fishing. Okay, thank you. Now, I couldn't leave Hoth without tasting the much-talked-about Dublin Bay prawn. So I've come to Kinsitrick, one of the many seafood restaurants here in Hoth, to cook some prawns with chef and proprietor Aidan McManus. So Aidan, you've got some delicious Dublin Bay prawns, and what are you going to cook with them? Well, we're going to do something very simple. First, I'm going to show you how we actually dissemble a prawn, take the vein out, peel it, etc. And then we're just going to do a very simple garlic butter. Beautiful. With them, you know. Well, should we get going? We will, of course, yeah. So you, you start yeah. off, you're the master chef, and <laughs> I'll, I'll follow like a good student. The first is we just remove the head, and okay. we discard it there like that. And we keep all of these for uh, sauces or bisques or whatever afterwards, you know. Then if you just put a, bit, a little bit of pressure on the tail like that and remove the tail, and voila, you should be able to get the vein out. The vein out. You have done it correctly. Now, we just... A little twist on so you're the... you twisting halfway through? Just a little twist, yeah. And remove the prawn meat, OK? So... And are. how do you tell if a, a prawn is fresh or not? Well, first, if you can look at the, the sort of the sparkle in the eye. Sorry. I'm looking for that Dublin sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, that's more or less the first way, you know. Okay. And that it's, it, it's firm, it's got a good texture in it. So what happens next? Well, we're just going to cook these quite slowly in a little bit of olive oil, OK? Just a small amount there. We'll just speed the heat up a little bit just to get the pan, then we'll slow it down a little bit. OK. And we'll also make a garlic butter sauce. And what goes that. into the sauce? Well... Garlic, yeah. lemon juice, Tabasco. Tabasco for a bit of. Yeah. White wine. White and wine. Finish with a little bit of parsley. Okay. What we say here in the in the restaurant, we use a splash, a dash, and a squeeze. <laughs> so we squeeze the lemon, dash it up because you don't want too much of it, and a good splash of the wine. We take our prawns, lovely sizzle there from that. How many prawns would you give per portion? Well, we give six ounces, which is approximately works out at about 15 prawns. 15 per portion. We don't put any seasoning on it, as we reckon that there's enough natural flavours in it and the sauce will bring out the other flavours that okay. we're looking for. Well, you're doing a great job there. Cheers. <laughs> yes, I did my time. It's not your first time doing this. <laughs> so while I'm working away very hard here, what are you going to do? I'm going to prepare the, the, the basics now for the butter sauce, OK? okay? We're going to use our wine, which is just a splash. Now, a little dash of that. If you just cut that lemon in half from there, Coda, would yeah, you please? Yeah, of course. And then we just give a squeeze of lemon juice. OK? okay. Then we just break off a little bit of our butter here. And I notice you're using unsalted butter. That's right, to stay with the, the theory. Well, we've always used unsalted butter for our uh, butter sauces. And is there so any... You're just... using an Alsace wine. Is that, is, does that go particularly well for this sauce? Well, it goes particularly well because we get it very good. A good price. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No, it's, it's our house wine. It's your house wine. But we're the world's biggest restaurant user of Pinot Blanc mm -hmm. from Hugel Wines. Uh, over the years, I've done a stage with, uh, over there in the Auberge de Lille. The garlic? Yeah, no, about half of that. Okay. About half a clove garlic. So in yeah. here, just to remind me what yeah. you have in here, you've got a splash of white wine. A splash of white wine, a dash of Tabasco and the squeeze of lemon juice. And a good knob of butter. And a knob of butter. About 50 grams, I'd say. Yeah. Half a clove. Yeah. We then just transfer our prawns to this. We've cooked those quite slowly so as that they don't stick too hard to the pan. And then we just take a little piece of the parsley, put it on top, and then we will just... And is this something... Is this, is this one of your classic dishes oh, here? Geez, yeah. And how long have you been running the restaurant here? 37 years. That's a long time. It is. <laughs> An awful long time. And this is one of your classic dishes? This is one of the classic dishes that we have. Prawns are always popular. No matter how pricey they get, no matter whatever it is, people want prawns. Yeah. And the good old days of the prawn cocktail and everything are not gone. They're still here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, you know, can get a good prawn. I mean, if you can get a prawn like this. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. 
and simple. Very really? easy to do at home. <laughs> Aiden, that was fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very it was a much pleasure being in your kitchen. Fresh from the sea, proudly supported by BIN, the Irish Sea Fisheries Board.